guys, welcome to fifth grade, chapter six, lesson one. We're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing with adding and subtracting fractions is that you have got to have a common denominator. You have to have a like denominator. So that's the first thing that we need to do. So I rewrote the first one here um, for us to do together. Okay. So you'll notice that I circled the three and the four. I need to make those the same number. So I need, I'm going to make the fractions with the same denominator, but equivalent to the ones that we already have, okay? So the first number that three and four are both gonna go into is gonna be 12, okay? Well, to get three to 12, I have to multiply it by four, which means that I also have to multiply the top by four. So now I'm gonna have four over 12. Okay, then plus, okay, in order to get 4 to 12, I had to multiply it by 3. I need to also multiply the top by 3. So my denominator is 12, and then 1 times 3 is 3. Now, when you get to the answer, your denominator stays the same. Okay, so now we just have 4 plus 3, 7. So your answer is 7 twelfths. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, okay, so we have on number three, we have three fifths plus one half. I'm leaving more space than they do so that you can see how we figure out our, our denominators. Okay, so again, circle the denominators because those are the ones that you need to figure out. Okay. The smallest number that 5 and 2 that are both going to go into is going to be 10. That means that our denominator all the way across is going to be 10. Okay? So now, 5, I had to multiply by 2 to get 10. So now I need to multiply the top by 2. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. Okay? So 3 times 2 is 6. Okay? I had to multiply 2 by 5, so now I need to also multiply the top by 5, and I get 5, okay? So now, all I have to do is add the top straight across, so 6 plus 5 is 11, okay? Now, the problem with that is that 11 is bigger than 10, and we need our, our numerator to be smaller than our denominator, so you could go... 11 with 10 outside the box, and you could do the division where 10 goes into 11. One time, one times 10 is 10. Subtract and get 1. So then you have 1 and 1 tenth. Okay. I'm going to start doing that mentally where I'm saying I know that 10 goes into 11 once. And there would be one left over, and our denominator stays the same for the most part. So if you need to come back and remember that I put the top number inside the box to divide, and then this is our whole number, this is our numerator, and this is our denominator. Then you can come back to that. You can write it down as an example. Do whatever it is you need to do. Okay. But the one up top is our whole number. The one left over, the remainder, is our numerator. And our denominator has stayed the same all the way across. Okay. So this is your final answer on that one is one and one tenth. Okay. All right. So now. Let me do one more with y'all. Okay. All right. We are going to skip down to, let's do number nine, guys. Okay. Number nine. I'm not going to number four. I'm going to number nine. Okay. And it says seven eighths plus one half. 
okay? Sometimes your denominator is going to be one of your numbers that are already here, okay? So the smallest number that eight and two are both gonna go into is gonna be eight, okay? So now, Okay, so now this one is already eight. I'm just gonna copy it, okay? This one I need to multiply the bottom by four, multiply the top by four, two times four is that eight, and then one times four is four, okay? So now I have seven plus four is 11, okay? Now's the part where I'm gonna do it mentally, okay? I know that eight goes into 11 one time, I know that there would be three left over and my denominator is the same, okay? So one and three eighths is your answer to number nine. Okay, all right, you guys finish out through 12, okay? You can totally do that, okay? We're gonna go down and do the word problems, okay? All right. So, this says, Brandis bought one-third pound of ground turkey and three-quarters of a pound of ground beef to make sausages. How many pounds of meat did he buy? So, we're going to add those two together, okay? Okay. One-third and three-quarters. Okay? All right. So, Smallest number three and four go into is going to be 12. Okay, and you will start learning these more and more as you do them. Okay, you'll start going three and four, 12, automatic. Okay, so the three I have to multiply by four, multiply the top by four, that's four. Four I have to multiply by three, multiply the top by three, that's nine. Okay, four plus nine. 13, that equals 1, and 1, 12. 12 goes into 13 one time. I would have one left over. My denominator stays the same. And don't forget to write in your label. Okay, so 1 and 1 12 pound. Okay. Okay. All right. Number 14, to make a ribbon and bow for a hat, Stacy needs five six yards of black ribbon and two thirds yards of red ribbon. How much total ribbon does she need? So again, five six plus two thirds, and let's see what we get, okay? The smallest number that three and six are gonna go into is gonna be six. Okay, notice, this one is already six. I'm keeping my five, okay? Three, I just need to multiply by two. When I multiply the top by two, I get four, okay? So now I have five plus four is nine, okay? All right, six is gonna go into nine one time. I will have three left over and my denominator is six. Problem is, is that three six can be reduced, okay? Now, I'm still going to have my one. That's not going to change. Okay. But three goes into three once and three goes into six twice. So one and a half YD is yards. Okay. One and one half yards. Okay. Don't forget to write your work down, guys. It is important. You need to show your work in math. Okay. We're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check. We are going to do this bottle review together. Okay. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so y'all can see. Okay. And okay. All right. In 782,341,693, which digit is in the 10,000th place? Well, we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Ten thousand. Four. Okay. Matt ran eight laps 
in 1,256 seconds. If you ran each lap in the same amount of time, how many seconds did it take him to run one lap? I'm gonna come over here and use my scratch paper. And I'm gonna say one, two, five, six divided by eight, okay? Eight's not gonna go into one. Eight will go into 12 one time, okay? Four is smaller than eight, so I can bring down my five. Eight will go into 45 five times because that's 40. Okay. Five is smaller than eight, so I can go ahead and bring down my six, and eight will go into 56 seven times. Seven times eight is 56, subtract get zero. So 157 seconds. Okay, make sure you're showing your work, guys, okay? Oh, you guys can't see the work. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, pause it, do whatever you need to do, write that down. Okay, sorry, I forgot I zoomed in. Okay. Okay, Silver bought three shirts for $15.90 each, including tax. How much did he spend? So I'm going to take that $15.90, and I'm going to multiply that by three. Okay. Three times zero, zero. Three times nine, 27. Three times five is 15, plus that two more, 17. Carry the one. Three times one is three, plus one is four. And I'm gonna go in one, two times. $47.70, okay? Julia has 14 pounds of nuts. There are 16 ounces and one pound. How many ounces of nuts does she have? Well, that just means that we're gonna do Multiplication, okay? So we are going to do four times six is 24, carrier two. Four times one is four, plus two is six. Four. Now we are going to tick, tack, and toe, and then one times 16 is 16. Add those up, okay? Four plus zero is four, six plus six is 12, carry that one and one plus one is two. And that is in ounces. You can write OZ for ounces. You can write out ounces. Your choice. Hey, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 6.1. Come on back for 6.2. See you soon.